Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you guys the essential things you guys need for a good, awesome gaming PC. Now, first of all, let's go throughout the list. As you can see, here are some of the great things that you need to have a nice, cool gaming PC. Num number one, we're going to start off with the best thing ever, which is called the Steam Client. Now, I'm going to open it here. <clears throat> Sorry about that, describe. So anyways, what the Steam Client does is, for any PC game that you buy on Steam, let's go to the store. Um, basically, what you can do on Steam is you can buy games at really good prices. Once you buy these games, they go onto your library. Um, the good thing about Steam is that it has really amazing things. For example, it keeps track of how many hours of game is played. Um, for example, as you can see, I'm a loser. I've played Skyrim a lot. Um, also, you can add in non-Steam games. So, let's see, I played this game last Wednesday. So, basically, what this does is it keeps track of, <clears throat> of what games you can put them on. Even if this game... I didn't buy Minecraft from Steam. So this is a non-Steam game. You can see you can press Add Game, and then you could add a non-Steam game or activate a pro a product on Steam and stuff like that. Buying games on Steam is pretty easy, as you can see. They usually have great deals on really cool games. Um, you can also add friends. You can do chat with them. The really cool thing about the Steam client is that once you're in a game, for example, let's open up Minecraft, play Last Play Today. So once I'm in a Steam game, you can press Login. Once I'm in a Steam game. It says you can press shift tab to use the Steam community. Now when you press shift tab you can do many things like you can go into your web browser or change your Steam settings. Um, you can also, the good thing about going into your browser is if you're in a really hardcore game, for example if you're doing a quest, the browser is a bit slow I did notice but it's still pretty worth it. So let's say I'm doing a quest, let's say Minecraft quest. For example, I can use the... Um, I can use the let's see quest for cookies. I don't know. Um, it's pretty cool because I can use the um, and I can just press shift tab again and on get myself back in the game. It tells you what time it is, how long sessions are of total gameplay. Also, you can go to websites, forums, game groups of Minecraft or anything related to the Minecraft. It's really convenient and it's just plain awesome. So we're gonna quit the game. Um, yes. Besides that, um. It, it you can get related, make new friends. You can it automatically takes care of your screenshots. You can uh, have your videos on here. It's just really awesome. Um, it's really cool. You can buy games. They recommend games for you. Okay, well besides the whole Steam thing, it's pretty fun. You can get good deals on great games. You can get them really cheap. All right. Now besides from Steam, another great thing to have is Skype. Now. If many of you guys know what Skype is, but the great thing about Skype is that you can add your friends and talk to them. You can even talk to them through Facebook. This is really convenient, especially the fact that you can do a voice talk. Voice talking is really free and it's fun. Now, if you're the type of person that likes doing mods, um, installing mods or um, making mods, then WinRAR is the thing for you. And what WinRAR does is you can open up RAR files or, for example, let's go to... I'll show you a really good reason for WinRAR. So right now I'm gonna go to my uh, my mine my dot Minecraft thing. So go to WinRAR dot Minecraft. For example, let's say I want to go and open my dot Minecraft to install modifications. The only way I'm gonna be able to is with WinRAR Archiver. The great thing about this Archiver is in Spanish, sorry, is that you can add in classes and stuff if you're a mod type of person. Um, it's just really awesome. Now, besides WinRAR, another great thing is KeyPass too. Now the great thing about KeyPass, and I can't really show you guys KeyPass because then I'm gonna have to expose my passwords, is that <clears throat> you can keep all your passwords safe. Now with KeyPass, what you do is you input your passwords, and only you are able to access them. The great thing about this is that it keeps all your passwords encrypted, and if you're the type of person that likes to visit lots of forums and video game stuff, then KeyPass is a thing for you. Now, oh. Well, that, this is basically how KeyPass looks like. You can make a new, new database. Um, we're gonna put this in desktop. Let's just name it Test Database. So say, Test Database Master Password one two. Th um, let's name it one two three four five six seven. Okay. Press OK. Oh, huh. One two three four five six seven. It says you can configure all your stuff, your database names. You press OK. Now these are sample usernames, for example. So username one My Michael three two one. Now if I click this, it'll take me to this. It tells you, sorry, 
I kind of nerded out there. See right there, it says test group, blah, 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 password, block, blah, 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 URL, and it tells you where to go for all your stuff. It's pretty cool, it's pretty fun, and it's really convenient. Right now, for example, I press this password, some site.com notes, blah, blah, blah. This is really great for keeping track of your password cancel, uh, discard changes. It's really great. Now, if you're the type of person to record games, Camtasia Studio and Fraps are for you. Right now, I'm actually using Camtasia Studio, so I can't really show you it. Um, but Camtasia Studio is a really expensive software. It's about 100 bucks. So if you want to invest some money into it, then I recommend getting Camtasia because it is a recorder. It is a movie maker, media kind of thing. But if you're the type of person that just wants to record, doesn't care much about editing and quality, then Fraps is a thing for you. Now, Fraps costs, I think, 20 bucks. I don't remember. It's pretty cheap. You just say yes. Yes, um, let's just hope that didn't screw up my video. Anyways, Fraps is really cheap. Um, let's just wait for, for it, wait for it to open up. It doesn't cause that much harm to you right there. And you can basically record screenshots in movies. And it's, it's awesome. It, it records things in high quality. Now, if you're into better games like Skyrim and stuff like that and TF2 and like full screen games, then you have to use Fraps because Camtasia Studio sucks with recording full screen games. For example, I recorded two hours and a half, maybe three hours worth of video games on the whole Dark Brotherhood quest line in Skyrim. I lost it all because Camtasia Studio sucks. If Camtasia Studio recorded a black screen. That's why for hardcore games like that, you have to use Fraps. Camtasia is best for recording tutorials like this one. Now, when you're always surfing the interwebs, you're going to find yourself with lots of cookies and your computer being really slow. Now, Game Booster and CCleaner are the thing for you. First, let's start off with Game Booster. Now, what Game Booster does is that it stops some processes. For example, here are a list of games that I play, even though I don't really play Team Fortress 2 in Spanish. I could, but I don't. Um, so, for example, I can add a game. So let's go to desktop and we're going to add in Minecraft because I always play Minecraft. So you would open, it's going to add Minecraft and you're going to press boost and launch. What it's going to do is it's going to launch Minecraft in a faster version of Minecraft. Now what apparently this makes it faster is that apparently it stops some processes in the background. So switch to boost. See performance boost. 17 services stopped. 3 posts have stopped. Your performance has been enhanced by 40%. Now, what the great thing about this is that since it's been enha enhanced, enhanced, enhanced by such a great percentage, if you don't have a powerful, um, a powerful gaming, whoa, that's a weird glitch. If you don't have such a powerful gaming computer, then this is the thing for you. Honestly, I don't really need it, so I'm gonna uninstall it after this video. Last but not least, the greatest thing to have if you ever get your computer slow is C Cleaner. CCleaner is a great convenience. It's free. Oh, also Game Booster is free. Skype is free. WinRAR, yeah, it's free, I think. I don't remember. I think I paid for it. Fraps, money, stream is free. Um, so the great thing about this is it deletes your history. It deletes your saved passwords. Registry. Registry really screws you up. You can search for registry errors. For example, I have all these registry errors. And look at them. There are a bunch of them. So basically, once it fixes these up, see, oh, sorry. This, apparently, once it fixes your registry, so you fix selected issues, no, and then fix all issues, it supposedly makes your computer faster. Deleting all of your, your, oh my god, voice crack. Deleting all your internet application stuff, it, it just makes everything faster. So you just run cleaner, permanently deletes all these cookies and all these unwanted things from your computer. Honestly, it's really great and it's fun. Anyways, thanks for watching this 5 minute and, let's think, 5 minute and 35 seconds of video. Um, you're currently watching this on Kenstro or Noobish Commentaries. I am part of Team Kenstro anyways. If you guys are watching this on Noobish Commentaries, please click the button in the thingy in the corner. I guess I'm going to put something in the corner here. Subscribe to Team Kenstro. If you're watching this on Team Kenstro, please make sure you subscribe yourself to Noobish Commentaries. We do work hard on these videos. Please subscribe and we will have more gaming and just about anything. Team Kenstro comes up with anything that's fun to watch and I hope you just enjoy watching this video. Thanks for watching and I hope you guys have a nice day.